personal finance is not a one size fits all kind of thing. Hello, my name is Gertrude and welcome to the channel, the best place for you to learn and share about budgeting, saving, investing and all things financial literacy. In today's video, we're going to go through how you can budget your income using the 50-30-20 budgeting rule. If you don't know what the 50-30-20 rule is, let me explain. The 50-30-20 budgeting rule states that 50% of your income should go into paying your basic needs. That is paying your rent, utility bills, that is water and electricity, doing your shopping for food and so on. While 30% of your income should go into your wants, that is fun and entertainment money. Last but not least, 20% of your income should go into savings and investments. Now that we know what the 50, 30, 20 budgeting rule is, let's get into the practical part of the video. But before that, I have to say that personal finance is not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. What do I mean by this? You might be earning 20,000 Kenyan shillings well, another person is earning an equivalent amount. However, on your case, the 20,000 Kenyan shillings is only for you. That is, you don't have any dependents. Whereas, person B might be having a wife and three kids. What the 20,000 Kenyan shillings can do for you is not the same thing it can do for person B. Well, we need a subject. Um, who should we budget for? Mm -hmm. Alex. Alex is 24 years old. He, this is his first permanent job. He earns an income of 20,000 shillings. Um, he lives near his place of work. That means no transportation cost for him. Um, his employer does not cover his medical expenses that means Alex will have to cover his own medical expenses uh, apart from that Alex is a Christian he often sends some money to his mother back at home uh, what else I think that's it well let's get into the practical part of the video welcome to the practical part of the video um, we're going to be using a template you can find it in the description box below uh, this template is unique in the fact that um, we have the month the year the type of income your budget at the end of the month you will be <clears throat> looking at the budget and the actual how much you received how much you spent and so on um, in the expenses section we have the savings and investments part the needs which is 50% and the wants we are in the month of Feb in the year 2021 Alex's income his salary his budget is we're going to begin with the savings and investments whereby we said that he is a Christian therefore in the savings and investment part we're going to begin with the tithe which is 10% of his income due on the first Sunday his tithe which will be 10% of his income the date due is on the first Sunday of the month of Feb 
which is seven. His budget is 10% of 20,000, that is 2,000. Um, he will be saving 5% which is due on the on 5th he that is one thousand. He will invest five percent, which is which is due on the fifth of the month. His total for the savings and investment section is 4,000. Which is 20% 20 of 20,000. Now that we are done with the savings and investment section, let's skip to the needs section whereby <coughs> these are the basic needs that is rent rent uh, his rent is due on fifth uh, he lives in a modest house alone um, utility bills, that is water and electricity. Which is due on the 15th. He pays 500 Kenyan shilling. He's shopping. We'll take four thousand. You know that we are done with the needs section. Let's get the total. That is 8,000. 50% of 20,000 is 10,000. Therefore, we have an extra 2,000. Um, let's go to this one section whereby we said that this section caters for uh, fun and entertainment. Fun and entertainment will give him. One thousand one hundred. Um, he also buys airtime for the month worth around five hundred. We also said that his employer does not cater for his medical expenses, therefore he will need to cater for that. Um, medical expense. After the health expenses, medical expenses have been catered for um alex decides to send his mother some money 
at home. Okay, now for the total in the ones section. Thirty percent of twenty thousand is six thousand. Therefore, the one section we have two thousand nine hundred above what we budgeted for, and in the needs section we have two thousand. Therefore, in total, he has an extra five thousand nine hundred for any other needs that we may not have budgeted for. That's it for this week's video. I hope that it is helpful. Let me know what you think about this video and kindly like and subscribe. See you in the next video.